Um, hello all. So today uh, we will focus on learning about the key environmental agencies in the United States. Starting off with uh, the US uh, uh, Environmental Protection Agency, also known as US EPA. So in July, 1970, the White House and Congress established the United States Protection Agency or US EPA in response to growing public health demand for cleaner air, water, and land during that time frame in the, in the late 60s and, and very early 70s, there was an increased concern about the deteriorating um, environment in the United States. And it was like a good response for the United States at that time to figure out a way to solve this problem by establishing this independent uh, agency whose focus was to protect human health and the environment. Um, EPA develops and enforces regulations that implement environmental laws. Of course, these laws have to be enacted by Congress for US EPA to have the authority to um, enforce them. EPA is headquartered, is headquartered in, the, in Washington, DC with 10 regional offices around the United States and a dozen labs. And their main staff are from engineering, science and health fields, as well as policy. So when you review this, make sure that you are able to explain uh, what the role of US EPA is. Again, the main role is to protect human health and the environment. And the environment in this case would be the air quality, the water quality, um, the uh, soil, um, as well as radiation to name some of the most critical uh, components that US EPA works to protect and hazardous waste, of course, as well. Um, the next agency is NIOSH uh, and OSHA. These are two different agencies. So under President Nixon, um, uh, the Occupational Safety and Health Act, or OSHA, was signed in 1970. And this led to the creation of two agencies. One is NIOSH, or National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, and OSHA, which is Occupational Safety and Health Administration. NIOSH is the federal agency that is responsible for conducting research and making recommendations for prevention of work-related injuries. So that the main thing in here is research and making recommendations. Whereas OSHA is the federal agency that is responsible for preventing work-related injuries, illnesses, and death by issuing and enforcing rules or standards for workplace safety and health. So NIOSH is focusing on conducting research, whereas OSHA is the agency that uses that research output and um, enforces specific, like issues, laws and regulations that later on enforces to ensure that workers are protected. NIOSH uh, is part of the Center for Disease Control and Pre Prevention, or CDC, within the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. It is a headquartered in Washington, D.C., with labs in Cincinnati, Ohio, in Morgantown, West Virginia, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Spokane, Washington, as well as Atlanta, Georgia. Um, they hire mostly epidemiologists, uh, folks with training in medicine, as well as industrial hygienists, uh, as well as people um, um, that have um, uh, safety um, training and uh, with psychology background, as well as engineering, chemistry, and statistics background. On the other hand, OSHA is part of the US Department of Labor and OSHA's goal, again, as I mentioned earlier, is to ensure that employers provide employees with a workplace free from recognized hazards to safety and health. And such, expo and such um, um, things can be uh, exposure to toxic substances, excessive noise levels, uh, mechanical dangers, heat or uh, cold stress, as well as unsanitary conditions. So uh, workplace should be free of those uh, recognized hazards. As you review the slide, make sure that you can um, uh, differentiate the uh, role of NIOSH from OSHA. The next agency is ATSDR, 
ATSDR stands for the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry. It is the nation's public health agency for chemical safety. It is headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia, and it has four specific functions. One, protecting the public from toxic exposure. Two, increasing knowledge about toxic substances. Three, delivering health education about toxic chemicals. And four, maintaining health registries. Um, uh, again, make sure that you are able to um, um, describe the main role of this agency. The next agency is the National Institute of Environmental Health and Health Sciences, also known as NIOSH. NIOSH is one of the uh, 27 institutes and centers of the National Institute of Health or NIH, which is a component of the US Department of Health and Human Services. NIOSH is located um, 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 in uh, Research Triangle Park or RTP in North Carolina. North Carolina. NIOSH has a broad focus on the um, uh, environmental causes of disease, supports a wide variety of research programs directed toward preventing health problems caused by our environment. And it is home to the National Toxicology Program or NTP, the nation's premier program for testing and evaluating and, and uh, testing and evaluation of agents in our environment. It functions to grant programs as well as in-house research. So the grant programs are the largest portion of uh, this agency's budget and goes to um, research laboratories, population-based studies, training programs that are conducted at universities, hospitals, businesses, and organizations around the country. This agency also conducts in-house research through its in-house laboratories. In-house or, or intramural research is done by scientists employed by this federal agency who have laboratories at, uh, in this agency. Such research uh, includes epidemiology, biostatistics, molecular genetics, reproductive and developmental toxicology, respiratory biology, and other environmental research areas. Finally, the National Toxicology Program, or NTP, is a federal interagency program headquarters in this agency, NIOSH, whose goal is to safeguard the public by identifying substances in the environment that may affect human health. The next agency that we'll talk about is the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC. CDC is one of the major uh, operating components of the Department of Health and Human Services, and its mission is to protect the safety, health, and security of America from threats here and around the world. CDC works 24 seven to protect America from health, safety and security threats, both foreign and in the United States. Whether diseases start at home or abroad, are chronic or acute, curable or preventable, human error or deliberate attack, CDC fights disease and supports communities and citizens to do the same. CDC's National Center for Environmental Health plans, directs, and coordinates a program to protect the American people from environmental hazards. Um, CDC's strategies, framework, and priorities are summed up in this diagram shown here. Four capabilities, three strategic priorities, and one single mission. The five um, core capabilities are, one, world-class data and analytics. So develop and deploy world-class data and analytics, which are critical assets to meeting today's and tomorrow's health challenges. Data is the foundation of CDC's work. As a strategic asset, the, CDC, uh, the, uh, the data CDC generates and uses needs to be timely, accurate, and usable. The second core capability is state-of-the-art lab capacity. As the reference lab to the world, CDC must maintain state-of-the-art laboratory capacity. CDC is a world leader in laboratory science, which is fundamental to CDC's work. Conducted to the highest standards of safety and quality, this science informs public health action. The third cap core capability is being, having an elite public health expertise. To accomplish its mission, CDC needs to maintain an elite, highly trained, cutting edge, 
deployable and flexible scientific programming workforce that represents diverse personal and disciplinary backgrounds to increase understanding and partnership with all those that CDC serves. The, its four core capability is responding to outbreaks at their source. CDC quickly responds to outbreaks at their source, both domestic and abroad. CDC's foremost responsibility is to respond to outbreaks, which are becoming ever more complex and frequent, to protect America's health, save lives, and protect livelihoods. The world counts on CDC to implement appropriate and immediate early interventions, which could prevent an aggressive, an aggressive outbreak from becoming an epidemic and prevent an epidemic in a country or region from de developing into a worldwide pandemic. Its fifth core um, uh, capability is uh, global capacity and domestic preparedness. So CDC is building on its current foundation for strong global health capacity by refocusing to the highest risk region, regions and thus ensure an adaptable, resilient, better coordinated system and better prepared countries that can address disease threats at their source. The three CDC uh, strategic priorities are securing global health and America's preparedness, eliminating diseases, and ending epidemics. CDC's mission is protect America's safety, health, and security. CDC's strategic priorities are also enacted by unique expertise and interdependent capabilities, including strategic communication, operational excellence, built up on a foundation of equal employment opportunities, partnerships across all populations CDC serves, and culturally appropriate stakeholders engagement. In here, you can uh, review CDC's role in addition to what we just discussed, which connects with things that we just talked about. The next agency is US Fish and Wildlife Service, also known as FWS. This is a federal agency responsible for fish and wildlife management in the United States. Its mission is to conserve, protect, enhance fish, wildlife, and plants and their habitats for the continuing benefit of the American people. The FWS enforces federal wildlife law, laws, lists and manages endangered species, protects migratory birds, and conserve wildlife habitats. The next very important agency is U.S. Department of Agriculture. USDA provides leadership on food, agriculture, natural resources, rural development, nutrition, and related issues based on public policies, the best available science and effective management. USDA's vision is to uh, provide economic opportunity through innovation, innovation, helping rural America to thrive, to promote agricultural production that better nourishes Americans, while also helping feed others throughout the world and to preserve the United States natural resources through conservation, restored forest, improved watersheds, and healthy private working lands. USDA helps keep America's farmers and ranchers in business and ensure that the nation's commercial supply of meat, poultry, and egg products is safe, wholesome, and properly labeled. They also help to ensure the health and care of animals and plants and the health of the land through sustainable management, and they work to improve the economy and quality of life in all of rural America. The next agency is U.S. Department of Food and Drug Administration. FDA's mission is, um, um, is listed in here. So FDA is responsible for protecting the public health by ensuring the safety, efficacy, and security of human and veterinary drugs, biological products, and medical devices, and by ensuring the safety of our nation's food supply, cosmetics, and products that emit radiation. Today, the FDA regulates $1 trillion worth of products a year, 
It ensures the safety of all food except for meat, poultry, and some ag products, which we just discussed is under the umbrella of USDA. FDA ensures the safety and effectiveness of all drugs, biological products, including blood, vaccines, and tissues for, transport for transplantation. You, uh, FDA also regulates medical devices and animal drugs and feed and makes sure that cosmetics and medical consumer products that emit radiation do not harm. The scope of FDA's regulatory authority is very broad. FDA's responsibilities are closely related to those of several other governmental agencies. Often frustrating and confusing for consumers is determining the appropriate regulatory agency to contact when it applies to some of the products that are regulated. And they do overlap between US EPA, FDA, USDA, for example, as well as CDC. US Bureau of Land Management, or BLM, BLM manages 245 million acres of public lands, which is one in every 10 acres of land in the United States, and manages 700 million acres of mineral states, which is approximately 30% of the nation's minerals. These public lands and subsurface acres are integral to the lives and livelihoods of communities and families across the country. These lands and minerals are found in every state in the country and encompass forests, mountains, rangelands, Arctic tundra, and deserts. <clears throat> um, the U.S. Bureau of Land Management's mission is to sustain health, diversity, and productivity of the public lands for the use and enjoyment of present and future generations. So now that we discussed most of the most important uh, federal agencies. Here is a chart showing uh, state level uh, agencies and how they uh, connect in this case in the state of California. So Cal EPA is the uh, California Environmental Protection Agency and it, and it, and it reports uh, to the US Environmental Protection Agency at the federal level. Under the California uh, um, Environmental Protection Agency, we have the California Resources Board, which focuses on um, air, calorie recycle, which focuses on recyclable materials and waste. Um, um, the California Department of Pesticides and uh, Regulation, which focuses on pesticides in, in, used in agriculture and other. Department of Toxic Substances Control, which focuses on toxic chemicals. OHIA, which also focuses on different aspects of toxicity. And then the Water Resources Board, which uh, uh, focuses on uh, the water and waterways. Hopefully this uh, uh, lecture was uh, useful in uh, introducing some um, critical environmental agency in the United States. Uh, thank you for listening and please do not remember to subscribe. Please do remember to subscribe. Thank you.